Jay Davis back at it here to give everyone another Walking Dead Season 5 episode review video. But before I get into that, it is extremely important if you're not caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching The Walking Dead for you to pay attention to that episode title. If you're not sure, I'll even put that title name in the description if that's the case and you find out that you're not caught up. I recommend, and so does everybody else, that you don't watch this video any further to avoid potential spoilers. This will be The Walking Dead Season number 5, episode number 10. The title of this episode is called Them. This will be my review reaction recap of the episode. And keep in mind, I've seen the episode a few times, just reviewing it to have it reviewed on the channel and reviewing it due to the fact that they announced season 11 of The Walking Dead will be the final season of the main Walking Dead show. The group continues to reel from the deaths of Beth and Tyrese, with Maggie, Sasha, and Daryl taking the losses the hardest. 60 miles away from Washington, D.C., the survivor's van runs out of gas, forcing them to travel on foot in the midst of a drought. With almost no water, they begin to question their chance of survival. Father Gabriel attempts to console Maggie, but she chastises him for abandoning his flock uh, when the outbreak occurred. Now, Rick orchestrates a plan to eliminate the threat of pursuing herd of walkers, a pursuing herd of walkers that's following him, which will require minimal exhortation from the exhausted group. However, Sasha breaks from the working plan and with recklessness that leads to several group members narrowly avoiding bites and Abraham is wounded when Sasha cuts him unapologetically. Sasha is angrily rebuked by Michonne who warns her not to end up like Sasha's brother Tyrese, which I don't think she would end up like Tyrese. Well, the Tyrese did go mad that one episode where they, he got out of the car and went after all the walkers, but later the group sits in a ditch by the road, all still hungry and without food when the pack of feral dogs won a Doberman pitcher, still wearing a collar, appear across the road. Daryl pulls out his knife but flinches and looks away as Sasha dispatches the dogs with a silenced weapon before they can get any closer. Now Rick stands up and begins to collect branches to make a fire. In the next scene, they are shown to be cooking meat on the fire and eating as the camera pans out. Now Noah is seen to be sitting on the ground with them and staring at a blue dog collar that is lying discarded in the dirt. As they eat, Father Gabriel throws his priest collar into the fire, signifying his lost faith. I mean, you gotta eat. So, I mean, I don't know. What else do you want to do? Wait for something else to come by? Now, despite comfort from Carol, a grieving Daryl begins to self-harm and when he alone breaks down in tears, dangerously dehydrated, the survivors find four jugs and ten bottles of water waiting for them in the middle of the row with a note reading from a friend. Now, Eugene volunteers to drink the water himself to see if it's safe, but a stopped by Abraham admits concerns it may be a trap. That night, a heavy thunderstorm breaks out, allowing the survivors to replenish their water supplies before taking shelter in a nearby barn. There... Rick relates a story of his grandfather who fought in World War II and only survived by convincing himself that he was already a dead man. And uh, Rick instructs the group that, like his grandfather, they have to live with reality to do what they have to do. And he tells everybody they are the walking dead, and that's a famous line in this show. Uh, Daryl angrily rejects Rick's notion, insisting that they aren't them, a herd of walkers is then spotted approaching the barn. The group works together to fend, fend off by barricading the door. And then the next morning, the survivors discover the storm itself had destroyed the walkers, throwing them onto broken branches and uprooting trees on top of them while narrowly sparing the barn. While watching the sunrise, Sasha tells Maggie that she doesn't know how to carry on the two are then all of a sudden approached by a man named Aaron uh, who identifies himself as a friend and asks for Rick by name and then they point their guns directly at him suspiciously and that's how the episode ends. So it's one of my least favorite episodes of The Walking Dead just because it's kind of a filler, a very big filler episode like nature is going after our group and I, I don't know, I thought it was kind of pointless. 
Although it's one of the better shitty episodes, I'm going to give the score of the episode a 7.1 out of 10. I thought they could have done a little bit more with it. It's nice to get introduced to Aaron in this episode. As we know, Aaron has changed quite a bit from this episode to where we are now in Season 11. People forget that Aaron's been, or where we are now in Season 10, I should say. And then, uh, you know, people forget Aaron's been on the show for quite a while here. So I think 7.1 is a good score of this. It's not as bad as still... And it's not as bad as that terror episode that's in season seven, swear I think season seven episode six. We'll get to that uh, in a couple seasons here. But my character, of the episode, I mean, it's one of the. It's an episode where it could have gone to like a couple people. I thought about Daryl, but I'm gonna give it to Sasha because Sasha, like, doesn't care, and I think that's very important to note here that she doesn't care and she's willing to do whatever it takes because they are the Walking Dead. So seven point one. Sasha's my character of the episode. So now it's your turn. You've heard everything I have to say. I want to hear what you have to say. So if you're a fan of The Walking Dead and you like this episode from Season 5, them, go ahead and smash that like button. Share the video with anybody that you want to share it with and then let them know that they can share it with other people as well. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments section. Talk about anything you want. Favorite episodes, favorite characters, least favorite episodes, and least favorite characters. Score this episode if, if you've seen it recently. Uh, tell me your favorite moment of the episode. Or tell me your um, character of this episode. Whatever you want to talk about. Theories for season 11. Theories for the rest of season 10. That's fine. Just make sure you comment. Nobody's commenting except for me. So uh, I have lots of time to respond to comments. So please do that. Do your due diligence. Leave a comment. And of course, last but certainly not least. Don't forget to hit that sub button. Subscribe to the channel. Join the team. Show your damn support. And be a part of something special. And of course, JDev will return. <laughs>